approaching the end of 2020 and boy, who knew what we were going to witness and experience. I mean, we all had high hopes for the year, right? We set goals, we had visions for the future and stuff. Hey Mavens, happy new year. Stepping into 2020, Um, for many people comes with mixed feelings. First of all, it's the start of a new decade. So my message for you on the very first day of 2020 is very simple. Take courage. But who knew the direction the world was headed? No regard for our dreams and aspirations whatsoever. A so-called deadly virus, isolation and a lockdown, people losing their jobs, homes, protests, chaos. <sighs> I mean, we do face challenges to varying degrees, right? But nothing really prepared us for what was to come, nor did many fully even understand what was really going on. All they were told, courtesy of the media, is that there is a killer virus on the loose and that no one was safe. People were kept frustrated, vulnerable, agitated and with little hope for a reprieve. Things have changed since, but there are so many lessons that those of us who are here right now had an opportunity to learn. And that's kind of what I wanted to share with you in today's video. strongest impressions in having made it this far in the year is that we kind of all get a chance to be grateful in spite of everything that has happened. Now in life things always happen right and we're kind of always faced with one situation or the other trying to achieve this or the other but it's really our attitude and our response to these things that is most significant if you ask me. I mean we've seen how utterly vulnerable man is when faced with the unexpected. I can tell you when they are faced with something that is not understood and you know I mean thinking about the fact that many people lost a lot this year so for some it's really like the worst year ever but then it's still not the worst that they've gone through in the past, right? It's not the worst that they have ever encountered. So many have also achieved the most in this same year. Yeah. But regardless, look around you. You still do have something. You still have family, you have your job, you have your health, and most importantly, you've still got your life. So are you counting your blessings? Seriously, are you counting your blessings? And as cliche as that sounds, are you really taking stock of what you have right now? Now someone said that as long as there is life, there is hope. And I'm kind of learning to look beyond the current challenges, like the present hardships, and instead kind of focus my attention to the things that are ahead and really try to see the things that others are not seeing right? Um, I have also learned kind of the importance of 
having expectations for greater things and a better life, no matter how rough it is right now. And more importantly, I'm trusting God with my life, knowing that he knows the end from the beginning. So with everything that has happened, I, I see that my faith is strengthened. And when I look in his word, I see that the plans that he has for me are plans of good to give me a desired future and an expected end. And so I kind of lift myself up again, resilient that I am, knowing that it's just going to get better. The next lesson kind of while reflecting on 2020 is a reminder to be courageous. I mean, life has never really been for the weak-hearted, right? It has always required of us some level of courage to overcome adversity, to face and conquer the things that we must, all of that stuff, to kind of stand tall and tough when there is chaos all around. And I know that for as long as we have life and are alive, we will keep living. Our will is to sort of rise again and to achieve is, you know, that, that willpower to achieve has to be bigger and stronger than ever before. And I also realize that we kind of have to deal with our fears and kind of breaking free of all the insecurities that are always trying to keep us down, trying to limit us, trying to keep us enslaved and all of that stuff. So we have to be strong, we have to be courageous, and most importantly, we kind of have to guard our hearts against the onslaught of evil thoughts because that is really where the battle is fought, it's in the mind. And then we've got to see opportunities because when there are new challenges, there actually are new opportunities. And not everyone sees this, but it's true. Otherwise, why do some people thrive when there is chaos and destruction, it's because in some way they were able to um, find opportunities or see opportunities when others didn't see, didn't see them, right? So what we used to hear that necessity is the mother of invention and all of that stuff, so important. So in this year I learned that there are new perspectives to be birthed and new ideas um, actually have an opportunity to grow in this year and kind of looking out for a need and a problem and then solve it that's that's the whole the true meaning of success isn't it so even though cities were shut and there was a lockdown on our minds remained open to god given creativity those that did learn new skills new ways of doing things god ways of living life in this dispensation and um, many people also had an opportunity to really prepare ahead, you know, prepare for what is ahead, whatever. These are things that I have learned to see opportunities where others see disadvantage. Life is really spiritual and, and in this life you're, in, you're either white or black, there's no gray. So it's either you're with the world or with the world. And we that are in the world, there's been safety for us, there's been security and there's been, it's been an amazing year. Okay, one word stepping into 2021. Well, it depends on the people, us in the house of God, it's from glory to glory. Ah, yeah. But the ones in the world, gross darkness. <laughs> From gross darkness to home world, that was all that. So, for us, it's from glory to glory, and we are so grateful to God. Thank you so much, Thank you very much.